word by word, read along with your favorite storyteller, Miss Booksy. The Read Along with Miss Booksy app, available now from Cool School. Hi, kids. Welcome to Storytime at Cool School with me, Miss Booksy. Today, we're reading The Princess and the Frog. Chapter one, here we go. Are you ready? Wiggle, snap, story time. Once upon a time, there was a king and queen. There they are right now. Hello. Hello. They were really good at their job. They took care of their people. They listened to the people of their kingdom. Sure, I agree that every Friday shall be Pizza Friday. Yay! OMG, I love it. They made the tough decisions. Hmm, should everyone in the kingdom have off from work for trampoline day? Well, it does sound like fun for everyone. Okay, I declare tomorrow everyone has the day off. Jump away. Aw, oh, that is so nice. And most importantly, they were kind. No, no, I insist. After you. Oh my, thank you, your majesty. So it's no surprise that they were also really great parents. And their daughters, aka princesses, were also pretty awesome. The youngest daughter named Tanya was really special. Some might even say enchanting. In fact, the sun even marveled when it shone on her face. Oh my, you're marvelous. <laughs> Gee, thanks. <laughs> that princess is so beautiful. But Princess Tanya was not just into jewels, fancy dresses, and tea parties, <laughs> although those things were all pretty cool too. Yeah, I have lots of hopes and dreams, and I really love, love, love soccer. Or some might say football. Who am I kidding? I don't play soccer in this dress. That's better. Wow, that is so cool. Princess Tanya was really good at soccer. She played on her kingdom's team. They were the golden warriors and they won a lot of games and sometimes lost, but always had fun. One day at her game. Okay guys, this is for the championship. You can do it, work together. Go, Go golden warriors. warriors. Come on princess, this is your chance. For the winning goal, you can do it. No! What would you do if this happened to you? I really need to work on my skills. So that's what she did. I practiced day in and day out. Of course, as long as I finish my chores. Yeah, princesses do chores too. <laughs> I practiced my kicking. I practiced my blocking. I practiced my dramatic falling on the ground pretending I'm injured. Ah! I practiced my victory dancing. I practiced until I was so tired. Make sure you rest and then keep practicing. You know what they say, practice makes. Perfect, I know, practice makes perfect. No, I was going to say practice makes you a hard worker. It's not about being perfect. It's important to work hard when you're going for your dreams. Aw, that's so sweet. Thanks, Mom. You're so wise. <laughs> well, I mean, I used to be quite the athlete in my day. Huh? Yeah, Mom, you've told us just a few times how good you were. <laughs> well, I'm gonna go play some more. See ya. Princess Tanya went for a walk through the forest near the castle. She had her special golden ball with her. Mom said I should rest, and my most favorite place to chill out is by the linden tree. There's this relaxing well. Sometimes I even make wishes on the well. That looks so beautiful. Hey, Princess Tanya, what's up? Seen any rainbows recently? No, actually, I haven't. I've been kind of busy. <laughs> Here, cat. Oops, sorry. The whole no legs thingy makes playing soccer tricky. That's okay. You're good at a lot of other things. Aw, oh, shucks. And you are really good at lots of stuff too, princess. Like, obviously, you're a soccer star. I'm doing my best. Watch this. Uh-oh, it's about to fall in. No, no! Oh, man. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no, my golden ball. Princess Tanya lost her golden ball in the well. Oh, no, this doesn't look good. <laughs> the son tried his best to help. 
Hey, princess, here you go. Have some me shine. Get it? Me shine instead of sunshine? It's no use, Mr. Sun. My ball is gone forever. Well, maybe not forever. Cheer up. How can I cheer up when my most favorite thing in all the land is gone, lost, vanished? <laughs> this is very sad. Maybe a little dramatic, but... <laughs> Who? Me? Dramatic? <gasps> what? Sorry. Forget I said anything. I'm just gonna go home. Ooh, I didn't see that coming. Chapter two, here we go. That afternoon, when it was tea time, Princess Tanya was sitting with her sisters and her mom. She was not her usual happy self. They could see something was wrong. Princess Tanya, why the long face? Yeah, you're eating your favorite chocolate biscuits. You should be so happy. But I'm not happy. I'm way upset, you guys. Uh, yeah, we can tell. What gives? I lost my most favorite golden ball. It fell in the well when I was practicing. And now what will I do? And how will I get serious skills if I don't have it? And it was my good luck charm. And I feel like I've lost a part of my soul. And I can't stop crying in the middle of everything. Even when I do my chores, it's like, here I am sweeping, but I'm so sad. Sweep, sweep, wah. And, and, sweet daughter. Take a deep breath. <sighs> Sorry. That is so sad. Now, why don't you go back to the well and see if you can get it back? Okay, I'll try. So the princess went back to the well by the linden tree. And of course, when she got there, no ball was in sight. She started crying again. Why? Why? Uh-oh, here we go again. I'm sorry, Mr. Sun. And I'm sorry I was so rude to you yesterday. I just feel so sad. I get it. <laughs> Why are you crying? Mr. Sun, I just told you. That wasn't me. Huh? Then whose voice was that? Hello? It's me. Ah! You're, you're, you're talking and you're a frog. You're a talking frog. Uh, I mean, you were just talking to the sun, so... Right. True. <clears throat> Whoa. This place is crazy. So why are you so sad? I could hear your cries from miles away. Well, yesterday, my most favorite golden soccer ball fell into the well when I was trying to show the sun some really cool tricks. Hmm. That does sound like a problem. It is. And now I don't know what to do. <laughs> hmm. I bet I could help. That's sweet, but I don't really know how a tiny talking frog is going to be able to get me a new golden ball. Oh, I mean, I could go fetch your ball for you. Really? Yeah, I'm a really good swimmer. And you look like you're a good person. Who needs a helping hand? Poor flipper. What, what would you call this? Um, I'm not sure. So, are you going to get my ball or not? Absolutely. Great, thanks. Okay, but what do I get in return? There's always a catch. So? How are they ever gonna get out of this one? Well, that is like my most favorite thing of all the things I have, so you can have my clothes, my pearls, my precious stones, even my golden crown. Thanks, but I don't need all that fancy stuff. Well, then what can I offer you? Friendship. I don't have any friends. Huh? You know this royal forest, this wishing well, these woods, they all get pretty lonely. I'd love to have a new friend. We could do lots of cool stuff together. Um... If you say yes, I'll jump in and get your ball right now. Well... I'm not quite sure what kind of companionship a frog can offer. They're kind of slimy. And don't they usually live in water? But I'm really desperate here. So... Okay, you got yourself a deal. Deal. Ew. I mean, thanks. Princess Tanya watched as the frog took a running start and leapt into the well. And she waited, and waited, and waited. Then suddenly, the frog emerged to the surface of the water with a loud gasp of air. Yay, I'm so happy. Got it. Oh, I'm your hero. Um, that is not my ball. My ball is golden colored and beautiful and so special to me. Are you sure? You don't want to take a closer look? Maybe it's yours, but just got dirty. Ah! Ew! 
OMG, what was that? Sorry. Oh, just a fish. Well, thank you so much for trying, Mr. Frog. Guess it's no use. My ball's gone forever. I guess I'll just move out of the castle and change my name and go start a little surf shop on the beach. Um, that sounds like a slight overreaction. Oh, maybe I am overreacting, but what am I gonna do? Wow, that was so much fun. Chapter three, here we go. Princess Tanya was sure she would never see her ball ever again. Wow, it's gone forever. I'll never get it back. Hey, don't cry. If you start crying, then I'm gonna start crying, and then... Let me try one more time, beautiful princess. If I can find it, you'll be my friend, right? Yeah, sure, whatever, thank you. The frog dove down to the bottom of the well again to find the ball. <laughs> Aha! You said golden soccer ball, yeah? I also see a golden football, a golden baseball, a golden hockey puck. You want those too? Oh, just the soccer ball is fine, thanks! You sure? So many cool things down here. Just the ball, thank you! Suddenly, there it was. <gasps> That's amazing! Oh, thank you, thank you! I'm so happy I can kiss... Um, give you a nice nod of thanks. <laughs> See ya, frog dude. Where are you going? You promised we'd be friends. You gave me a high five. But Princess Tanya was so excited, she forgot about her deal with the frog. She dribbled it all the way home. Wait for me. You're running too fast. I can't keep up. Oh man, I should start working out. Yay, my ball. Princess. The frog chased after Princess Tanya, but soon she was out of sight. Still, the frog wasn't going to give up. All he wanted was to be her friend. Seriously, that's the thanks I get. Better start heading towards the castle. This might take a while. Oh no, I hope he'll be okay. Meanwhile, Princess Tanya had already made it back to the castle. And she shoots! She scores! Tanya dear, please don't kick your soccer ball at the house. Oh, sorry mom. <laughs> I'll just practice my footwork. That night, Princess Tanya peacefully went to sleep, and she dreamt of the most magical things. And there she goes, ladies and gentlemen. She's off. She's faster than a rocket ship. I'm going to make the winning goal. She's doing it, folks. She's really doing it. Watch out. Here I... Huh? Hi. Wait a minute. Well, that was weird. Princess Tanya woke up from her dream a little confused, but in a split second, she was fine again. She had her ball and it was all good. She was so glad she could sing. Tra la 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 la. I don't know the words to this song. It's a good day to be alive <laughs> and maybe do some art projects and of course, play soccer. Oops, I don't wanna be late for breakfast. The king, queen, and princess were all eating a big wonderful breakfast. Fruit salad, sparkling cider, French toast with strawberries, sprinkles, and whipped cream. Princess Tanya's favorite. OMG, I love it. Mmm, this is so yummy. I agree. La 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 la. I love sprinkles and whipped cream and all these yummy things. Tra la 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 la. <laughs> you seem happy today. I got my golden soccer ball back. Now I can practice forever and ever. Congratulations! How'd you get it back? Um, well, you see, I am, um, I don't remember, I think. Suddenly, there was a knock on the door. I'll get it! Princess Tanya excitedly ran to the door as fast as she could. As she opened the door, she looked around but couldn't see anybody. When she looked down. Hi, best friend. That's so not cool. It was the frog. Princess Tanya screamed and slammed the door shut. What is it, Tia? N nothing. Let me see. She's right. There's nothing there. Ew, gross. What's all the commotion? What's out there? Is it a giant? To be continued. Thanks for coming to Storytime. See you next time. Bye.